So my son and I put together this light box and we're calibrating it for lumens to lux. This is the lux meter output, about 102 times 100 lux. We're running at just about 13 watts according to our watt meter. As you can see here, it's sitting at about 13.1 watts, 122.9 volts. I've used various bulbs in here to get the calibration. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to look inside, show you what it looks like. Just a quick uh, introduction to the light box for measuring lux and converting that to lumens. Yep. So this is uh, oh, inside. Look. And we see that uh, we've got one fluorescent, compact fluorescent bulb in here. There's room for two more. And we've got the Lux meter here. When I close it, we have the reflective aluminum. And then uh, as I turn it on, let it warm up a bit. Then you see, I uh, have to let it warm up just a little bit, but we're running at about 109 Lux. Can you see that on the 108? And um, we measure the power in. Now I do that with different bulbs, and I use two bulbs, and so on, and thus I can calibrate the uh, light box lumens and per watt. I can get that, but first I need to calibrate per lumens, which is given on these boxes for each bulb. So it's quite a straightforward system. Oh, this is what's inside one of these CFLs. It's quite interesting. I think I got it figured out. It's like they first rectify to DC, and then there's uh, kind of a uh, blocking oscillator built in here, kind of cool, two resist, uh, transistors, and then uh, pump out the high voltage to the bulb. Pretty cool. Anyway, there's the system, and I also have an LED light, runs at 9.5 watts, and puts out 600 lumens, which is pretty good and we'll look at lumens per watt and the idea is to maximize lumens per watt. See we're running at about 107 lux now at just uh, just right about 13 watts so that's how we calibrate the thing.